The 2023 Carter Work Project is returning to Charlotte and WCNC is a proud partner. Their focus an affordable housing development near the airport with 39 new single family homes. The first week of October, volunteers will come together to build more than 20 new homes in one week. Until then, we will share stories about the affordable housing struggle in Charlotte and how the Carter Work Project will help those in need. May has been dubbed Women Build Month, so I visited with some of the women builders and the recipient of the very first women build home as they are seeking solutions to the affordable housing crisis. It was a truly a blessing. Janet Stewart, a single mother of two, was the very first recipient of a women build Habitat for Humanity home. We were constantly moving every year or two because we were priced out of where we were living. In North Carolina, one in eight households spend more than half their income on housing, often forcing them to choose between paying for housing or other vital needs for their family. When I was introduced to Habitat, it changed our lives immensely. We were able to not worry about what we were going to do next year. In North Carolina, the affordable housing shortage is estimated to be around 46,000 homes. The mission of affordable housing and what it impact it has on a community was just so meaningful to me and to our team. It was something they were all excited to be a part of. Sharon Sullivan, CEO of Renewal by Anderson, is a longtime volunteer with Habitat. If you look at housing and the economy and how many households are headed by single females head of households, uh, we are thrilled that it will be a, a female occupant here. And I know from my work with Habitat how meaningful that is generationally. The part for me that's my kids always know where to go. They have some place to go no matter what. The very first women build took place in 1991 and now it's become an annual tradition for Habitat. And as soon as they raise these walls, Janet is gonna be leaving a special note for the new homeowner. May many more blessings come your way. From one homeowner to the next. It's a message of hope for the future. As these women give back, by paying it forward for the next generation. It's so Very amazing nice. what they're doing. And she is still in her home 32 years great, what a later. Great story right there. Yeah. I like the little neighborhood that they're in. Oh, it's going to be great. And yeah. we're going to be out there that when first you say week. We, you're going to be out there. Yeah, first week of October. Yeah. Garth Brooks, Trisha Yearwood are going to be here. Wow. I know. Larry, you're going to have to come I'll out. I'll be there. Yeah. With, with those two and you out there with yeah. a hammer and nails. It'll be fun. Let's do it.